Sometimes when you're fishing, it's possible if you know what you're doing and you have a bit of luck to bring in quite a large fish on very light gear. It's all about letting that fish swim around, tire itself out. But there are some fish where that just doesn't work. One fish is eels. Eels are unlike any other fish, and the main thing that's different is that they can use their tail to, uh, to hold onto things underwater. They can in insert it into a crevice, into some rocks. Uh, they can wrap it around a, a sunken tree trunk. So with eels then, it's, you know, it, it's not very subtle. You use strong gear and you're just trying to sort of get them in as quickly as possible, get them away from any possible snags. I kitted up in Fiji with uh, my sort of normal heavy gear. This is like uh, 100 pound break and strain nylon, um, you know, a good pretty stiff rod. Something's on. Something's on. I realized it was a good eel. I got it up on the surface. That's great. It's splashing on the surface. The next key phase, though, is when you get it to you know, the, the, the side of the bank. What are you going to do there? An eel is a slippery customer. You can't really grab it anywhere. So what I did uh, on this trip, I took with me um, a large landing net. There we go. It's in the form of a, of a triangle. Even when you've got them on the bank, the, the battle isn't over. Um, they, they really are quite a handful. What this capture shows is that before you even start put a bait in the water, you must have a plan in place. You must know in advance exactly what you're going to do if you hook the fish.